winterizing the diesel engine in the yard here and uh, running some fresh water through it. I hate to run the engine for a short time because of startup condensation in the motor. So I, I do let it run for a good long time. That's a cockpit scupper right there, draining um, water overflow from the five gallon bucket. And uh, we'll head up into the cockpit and I can show you what the in-out bucket looks like. Letting the engine run. She's up to temp. But I like to let her run for a good long time. So this is this is the in-out bucket here. Basically what it is, you have the clear hose uh, with a valve on the end of it, runs off to the engine, intake, and then you fill the bucket with a garden hose. And I put one of those valves on the end of it uh, so you can adjust the flow if you need to. Yeah, I just put a couple clamps on the bucket just to hold them in place. But uh, when I do this in the cockpit, I don't care if it overflows, so no real need to balance it. Take a look at uh, how the engine end works. This uh, was the intake. Runs over to the intake seat on. And, uh, you just disconnect this. Put the clear hose all the way up into the cockpit and into the bucket. And just uh, run the engine long enough to burn off any startup condensation and really uh, get her good and warm. One of the key things that you want to be careful of when you're running an in-out bucket is uh, the siphon brake for your engine. Mine is right here. Um, this goes off to the uh, muffler, water injection elbow, and uh, on that side of it. And you shut off the engine. This allows uh, vacuum to, uh, to break the vacuum so you can't siphon and fill the exhaust and flood the engine. But because this hose here, right now, is higher than this point, when you shut off the engine, you need to be very careful that you either immediately pull this hose out of the bucket, or, uh, as I've done, I put on a valve so that I can't flood the engine by siphoning from the bucket and into the engine, which can't happen. Because impellers and impeller pumps are not positive shutoff devices. And uh, depending on where those veins stop, or if you had a broken vein, you could very easily flood your engine and do what's called hydrolock it, you know, which, which you just don't want to do. So always look at the location of your siphon brake and uh, never connect the garden hose directly to the engine or you will hydrolock your engine, meaning you get water into the cylinders and you'll seize the motor. And then you'll have to either pull the glow plugs or the uh, fuel injectors so you get the water out of the cylinders, probably do multiple oil changes, and then run the engine for a long, long, long time to burn off any uh, any moisture that would have gotten in there. So you know, always be conscious of this location versus the high point here, because you can start a siphon. So what I've done now is I've uh, filled my in-out bucket, uh, which is now just an in because I'm not feeding it fresh water, uh, with propylene glycol. Uh, to run through the engine. And I know from experience with this engine that it takes about five gallons. Um, that's primarily because I have a Seafrost engine driven refrigeration system that requires uh, or has a lot of water in it. So with propylene glycol the last thing you want to do is let it get diluted. And uh, I know with five gallons when I tested out the exhaust at the other end I'm still uh, at, at what it went in as. Uh, so it's, I know it's not diluted. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, start the motor um, as, as you can see, I shut off the valve, which holds my holds my prime, so the hose uh, still has the fresh water in it. So I start the motor. I will very quickly uh, open up the uh, water. And as you can see, it's now just going to suck that bucket dry. The valve is a little sticky. But uh, you can see how quickly this bucket drains down, and this is this is only at idle right here. Um, so I can suck a five-gallon bucket dry at idle in you know, somewhere around a minute, maybe maybe a little over, maybe a little less. I haven't really timed it in a while, but uh, you know, that that that's how you know you got good flow. And you're sucking a five-gallon bucket dry that quickly. So 
um, you know, tilt it up just to make sure that I'm getting all the antifreeze. And, uh, and once it's sucked it in, I'll hold the hose up here. Okay, we're suck we've sucked it dry. Now I just hold the hose up, let the engine get all of it, and then uh, pretty quickly shut it down here. And that's it, she's winterized. Uh, got uh, plenty of propylene glycol in there, and we're good to go.